like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars what do you do with the gift of god in your life number one you discover it i'm showing you the dynamics now because knowing maybe you write this first knowing you are gifted is not enough you must pay the price to refine and develop that gift knowing you are gifted ladies and gentlemen knowing you have skill knowing you are called knowing you are a businessman knowing you are a prophet knowing you are an apostle is not enough paying the price to develop it that is where your honor is and that is where your reward lies the reward is not in the discovery the reward is in the refinement and the deployment let me take it again the reward is not in the discovery you are not rewarded for discovering yourself you are not rewarded for discovering your gift you are not rewarded for discovering you are called into ministry you must be able to develop and refine let's talk about development the first thing you do with your gift is to discover the second is development spare me a few minutes as i charge your hearts look up please you want to develop your gift you must be prepared to go through the furnace of affliction the furnace of affliction is not a bad word you know once we hear affliction many people just run away and say i reject it can i tell you sacrifice is the language of champions nobody becomes great at their terms let me use ministry for instance i do not want to speak like i'm bragging but heaven knows and i can tell you uneasy lies the head that wears the crown make no mistake about the glory of god that is revealed in the life of people today whether is accessing the anointing whether is staying on course to find revelation whether is understanding leadership are we together now knowledge is not a gift you buy the truth developing anything is difficult learn that from architecture you can destroy a building in one minute literally without exaggeration but it can take you as much as three four five years depending on the kind of structure you're erecting building anything is hard building men building stamina growing in the anointing building your faith building your knowledge bank both spiritually and intellectually it takes time this is where many people miss out on because we have this superstitious idea that just because the holy ghost is in my life and i have scripture automatically with no effort on my own part i will rise mysteriously especially because of forces in the kingdom that have not been taught properly chiefest among them is favor i teach favor a lot and i can tell you i'm a living epistle of that mystery but it does not have told you favor is merited the idea that is unmerited is what has deceived people into complacency and laxity i know my god will do it be laughing at me today tomorrow you will bend your head in shame as a prophetic confession i agree but with no effort on your own part to work with prophecy you will be disappointed in multiple folds i tell you are we together I've seen many people who want to build great ministries, for instance, rather than submitting themselves to learning, to understand the ropes around excelling in ministry. All they are interested in is just a little impartation. Apostle just touched my head and I know everything will go back. I assure you it will be a risk for God to send thousands of people with that bankruptcy of knowledge you do not know what human beings can do when you are not trained to understand the psychology of people it's not only scripture you need to understand the, the kinds of problems that your organization will go through i'm not sure you'll be ready to handle that and so god will teach you he will guide you are we together now yes it pains my heart when i see several believers who seem to admire others 
and make it look like God just isolated a few people and decided to lift them and has left others to scrounge in mediocrity. No, the Bible says the same Lord, ladies and gentlemen, is rich unto all. It is true that he may give one five talent. It's true that he may give one two talent. But a hundred percent result is possible at any level. Not everybody in truth may have access to an international or a global ministry. This is why God rates men based on the faithfulness what he gave them. It would be unfair to expect five more talent from the one he gave two talents to. That's why the same commendation he gave the one with five, he gave the one with two. Because within the scope of their ability, they did the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me developing your ability will require you to invest time spiritually to invest time intellectually to invest time in terms of physical dissipation of energy you want to prepare for a great life you want to prepare for a global ministry you want to prepare to be a global brand be ready to make contact with the spirit your times of prayer i mean rich moments of prayer capacity in the spirit there are certain spiritual burdens you cannot carry until there is a track record of building robust strength in the spirit it will be unfair for you to carry say this line arrays and drop it on a human being just one person it will be unfair because this will be too heavy for one person under normal circumstances so god is not going to trust you with the burden of nations when he sees and vets that you are ill prepared please listen carefully the spirit of god is speaking to us there are families respectfully speaking that may never rise because they have not taken the personal responsibility to know that if we are to rise it is everybody's business and we must take responsibility you have a family of 10 people the men are lazy the women are entitled are we together the parents don't care the younger ones are blaming the elder ones and all of them are blaming demons for the ultimate reason why they are not rising and the demons are surprised because they know what they did and they know what they did not do how could you blame us for everything it's funny but i pray you are getting the message it is very consoling to blame spirits because you can't take them to court it's very consoling to blame spirits because they will not appear and say you are lying this one i did it this one mm -mm. the mediocre's excuse is to transfer blame to the realm of the spirit why are you not rising is because of this and that i used to have one dream and they used to oppress me okay minus the oppression what have you done nothing you give the gentleman 100,000, the next thing you find him running around, eating in a restaurant with people who are millionaires, and he's there, 100,000, home and abroad, and he's eating too. And you are wondering, what are you doing here? And the reality of the time will take you from that place back to where you were, because you've not qualified to get there. Are we together? Yes. Listen very carefully. I made up my mind that i would not be praying that god should bring people rather i would be praying that god should build capacity lord build capacity so that when you bring the people i can truly be a blessing to them build capacity so that when i declare over your life when i prophesy over your life that week in and week out as people converge from across the globe it will not be that you are coming to just listen to cunningly devised fables no I challenge all the departments and the workers as they work. Don't just say this is a spiritual platform. Maintain the highest level of excellence that can be. It is spirituality. But these spirits are coming in human bodies. So make sure excellence is maintained at the highest level. Is someone learning now? Tell yourself no excuses. Shout it again. Say no excuses. For as long as you continue to justify mediocrity, you will keep getting angry and jealous and envious of people who are paying a price you are not seeing. Are we together now? Yes. Our world today is full of b 
bitter, angry, and envious people who find pride in pulling others down because they do not know that with, a, with a, the press of diligence, God can reward. The same Lord is rich unto all. But I can tell you, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. You are praying five minutes, snoring while you pray that five minutes, living your life carelessly, jumping from pillar to post. And there are others who are paying the price while you are sleeping, they are awake, praying over nations, studying for hours, investing in knowledge. There is a name God is called, the righteous judge. Please listen to me. I say it again, the righteous judge. You can't carry the same level of grace. No. God is not a politician. While others are submitting themselves to mentorship and to learning, you sit down and learn, watch videos, build your spirit, build capacity. I am amazed at several men of God, great people who are doing great things, and sometimes they will honorably reach out and just say, Apostle, you know, have a conversation and say, please, I want you to share one or two things with me about this area. And I'm humbled. I'm saying, my God, can you imagine? These people are also doing great things as God has helped them. But look at the, the humility of heart. And there are others who are not going anywhere. They've not started anything, not doing anything. And everybody is their colleague. No. Are we together? A gentleman one day said, Apostle, I don't know if you can give me an opportunity for us to pray together one day. I looked at him with compassion. Honestly. And it's not pride. I just said, this, this man, 